dear students welcome to unit 3 laplace transform in this session we are going to see the definition of laplace transform and simple formulas and their proof let us consider a function f of t which is continuous and defined over the positive values of t the laplace transform of the function f of t or l of f of t associate a function s and it is defined by integral 0 to infinity e power minus st f of t dt next we are going to see the sufficient condition for existence of laplace transform first f of t should be continuous or piece wise continuous in the given closed interval a comma b provided a greater than 0 second point f of t is of exponential order so i'll make a separate video for the theoretical ideas and concept now we are concentrating on problem solving point of view let us write some formulas L of e power a t. L of e power a t is going to be one divided by s minus a. Then you can easily guess what is L of e power minus a t. It is going to be one divided by s plus a. L of sin a t. Sin a t is going to be a by s square plus a square. While L of cos a t is going to be s by s square plus a square. Next. When we go for the hyperbolic functions, the numerator of the sine and cos is going to be the same. For sine h a t we have a, but in the denominator we have s square minus a square. Then cos h a t is going to be s by s square minus a square. Next, we are going to take the function t power n. L of t power n is going to be n factorial divided by s power n plus one. If n is an integer, suppose if n is not an integer, for example, you may have t power one by two, t power minus one by two, t power three by two. In this case, we are going to use L of t power n as gamma of n plus one divided by s power n plus one. Beta gamma functions we studied in semester one. We can easily recall it. And finally, L of one is one by s. That is L of t power zero. So when I put n is zero, zero factorial divided by s power zero plus one. That is one by s. So these are all some basic formulas we are going to use in the problem solving purposes. So now we are going to see the proof for some of the formulas like e power a t minus a t sine cos sine h a t and cos h a t we know that l of f of t is equal to integral 0 to infinity e power minus s t f of t dt here f of t is given as e power a t therefore l of e power a t is integral 0 to infinity e power minus s t e power a t dt we know the result e power minus infinity is 0 and e power infinity is infinity so whenever we get the limit 0 to infinity exponential negative always better to keep e power as negative since the base is same i am going to clap this i'll take minus outside so i'll be getting e power minus s minus a into t dt to understand students what is happening here integral 0 to infinity e power minus st plus at so i am taking minus outside and t outside now we know the integration of e power ax is e power ax by a so integration of e power minus s minus a into t dt is going to be e power minus s minus a t divided by minus s minus a integral 0 to infinity now substituting the upper and lower limit we get e power minus infinity Minus e power zero divided by minus s minus y. E power infinity just now I said it is going to be zero and e power zero is one that is known to us. Substituting the value we get zero minus one by minus half s minus y. Minus minus get cancel and we get one by s minus y. Now you understand. How the formula comes? L of e power a t is one by s minus a. Next, L of e power minus a t is one by s plus a, provided s should be greater than minus a. The same thing. Now, when we club this two, we'll be getting e power minus half s plus a 
t into dt integral 0 to infinity now integrating this we get e power minus of s plus a into t divided by minus of s plus a substituting the upper and lower limit we get 0 minus 1 divided by minus of s plus a so the answer is 1 by s plus a hope you understand students Next, we have to prove that L of cos AT is going to be S by S square plus A square provided S greater than 0. There are two, three approaches to prove this. I am going to use a simple technique. First, write the L of cos AT substitution. Now, we know the result. Integral 0 to infinity e power minus ax cos bx dx is going to be A by A square plus B square. Now, compare this two formula here instead of a i have s yes. instead of b we have a instead of x we have t therefore l of cos a t is going to be s yes, because instead of a we are replacing s yes. so s yes by s square b instead of b we have a so s yes by s square plus a square very simple next in the similar way we can find sine we know the result integral 0 to infinity e power minus ax sin bx dx is going to be b by a square plus b square now as usual instead of a in our problem we have s instead of b we have a and instead of x we have t therefore l of sin a t is going to be a divided by s square plus a square done students next we have to find laplace transform of sin h a t this problem also we are going to do in a simple way we know sin h a t is e power a t minus e power minus a t by 2 now substitute this in the sin h a t so l of sin h a t is l of e power a t minus l of e power minus a t i can take this 1 by 2 outside so l of e power a t minus l of e power minus a t just now we found l of e power a t is 1 by s minus a minus e power minus a t is going to be 1 by s plus a now when you take lcm we get s plus a minus s plus a divided by s square minus a square because s minus a into s plus a so s s get cancelled we have 2a divided by s square minus a square and outside we have 1 by 2 both will get cancelled therefore l of sin h a t is a by s square minus a square in the similar way one can prove for l of cos h a t because cos h a t formula is going to be e power a t plus e power minus a t by 2 so the same thing only in the previous problem we have minus here here we have plus so 1 by 2 s plus a plus s minus a divided by s square minus a square here a a get cancelled so we get 2s divided by s square minus a square now 2 to get cancel s by s square minus a square and finally we have to prove l of c is equal to c by s where c is any constant so we know l of f of t is going to be integral 0 to infinity e power minus st f of t dt now l of constant is going to be integral 0 to infinity e power minus st into c dt i can take this constant out and e power minus st integration is e power minus st divided by minus s limits 0 to infinity now substituting the upper limit we get e power minus infinity lower limit e power 0 divided by minus s so we know e power minus infinity is 0 and e power 0 is 1 divided by minus 1 therefore my final solution is going to be c divided by s so if you say l of 2 the answer is going to be 2 by s l of 10 it is going to be 10 by s etc hope you understand students thanks for watching Hope you found this video helpful. Subscribe to our channel and share it to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.